Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago. But he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business. And that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 137 pounds. Fighting out of Shanghai, China, Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, come into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. He gets caught with that punch. Slips. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Real nice body kick land. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Leg kick. Oh. 
throwing that jab, no good. Three minutes now to go in round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Misses again with a right punch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Whiffs on the right hand. Hands high, hands high. Nice right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice straight punch. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got to hurt very badly. Good punch lands. Over and over, he's landed his big body kick. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Let's go. Let's fight hard. Come on, keep busy, guys. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Ooh, found a home for that knee. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. In terms of the knee strikes, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. Just nasty. I mean, just nasty knees. The moment he finds those opportunities, to really drive his knee home. Drive it into your body. He throws them, and he throws them with absolute force. You ready? You ready? Let's go fight. Good stick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. Here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. 
Oh, slips to avoid the right. Wow, huge head kick. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Then you're in a lot of trouble. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Big kick land. Big tall punch land. Now he gets back to range. Let's go. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Right hand upstairs. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Put your hands up higher. Come on. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, looks like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Right hand upstairs. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Nice punch lands over the top. And they separate. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. with that punch. Okay. Okay. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Fifteen seconds. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. In the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Strike attempt there is blocked. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. 
and a good sign too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. by that head kick. His hands are down. Let's set up that high kick now. Big head kick lands. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Here's a kick to the body, blocked though. Oh, that's the score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Let's go. <laughs> Three minutes remain in the round. Beautiful kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. left hand just missed. there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just missed on the high kick there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Nice punch there by Lee. Big leg kick land. And continues with the inside leg kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, the striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. left. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Your 
All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep going. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Nice kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big punch, man. Ooh. Doubled up on the jab there. Nicely done by Lee. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking zone. Really in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Back and forth we go here. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Whoa! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Superman punch land. is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Another shot lands upstairs. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Dig and kick. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Great punch. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Under two minutes now to go. Just out of range with that left hook. That was a thudding leg kick. Beautiful strike. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one coming. on the bottom, he's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Under one minute remains in round four of a possible five. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. 45 seconds remain in the round. Let's get that takedown and win the round. What a punch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. 
Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, nice jab. Wait. So a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. That right hand landed. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Liver kick. There's no give on that leg kick. He's, he's limping now. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at 40 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.